Well, th 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 that's a silly remark because, you know, the, the difference between a book and a computer is, is, is basically zero um, in the sense that uh, physical books are going to disappear, they're going to become screens within a very short period of time because of all sorts of reasons, the economics of it, the environmental impact of it, and just the, the sheer access. Uh, when we ship our laptop, uh, we ship 1.6 million books with it. You can access free 1.6 million books, and embedded in the laptop are 100 books per laptop of the choosing of the country. But what's important about that is when you ship a hundred laptops into a village, there are a hundred different books on each of the laptops. So the village now has 10,000 books in the village and 1.6 million accessible. That's, that is really, really different. So to compare books to computers, I mean, computers are the way to get books. Um, that is the, the, the medium for distributing text because it doesn't require paper, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's editable, nothing goes out of date, nothing goes out of print, uh, it's, it can be refreshed and, and updated. Usually when somebody makes a remark like that, what they're doing is they are observing that kids in a classroom are playing with their laptops because what is actually going on is pretty boring. And uh, if you have uh, an environment where somebody is not engaging the kids, not using the laptops uh, uh, as part of the, the, the ethos, if you will, of the particular lessons and material going on, this is certainly going to happen. It's a little bit like people using cell phones in the middle of class because they're bored and they're sending messages to each other. It's, that's not because the cell phone is innately bad, it's because the class is boring. And we don't find this situation when we go out into villages, um, but what we will find is, because the kids take the laptops home, is of course they're going to use them for games and for music and for movies, and they should. And that's very important. In fact, we require the country to allow the kids to take it home because otherwise it's not a seamless part of their life. It's part of just this thing called school and, and something that is, is, is just not part of their normal life. And you have to also keep in mind that most children in the world go to schools that are two shifts. There's a morning shift and an afternoon shift. Now you look, if you look at the two shift schools and you count the number of hours that a child spends in class, it's a number like 12 to 14 per week. Now, if you make the classroom experience, you know, absolutely perfect, it's still only 14 hours a week. There are a lot of other hours. So we really look at the whole day of the child and want to influence that whole period. And so that's a very, very big difference again.